If you have a little ballerina or dancer, then you are going to love these three bun hairstyles. They can be done in five minutes or less and are sure to stay put. To get the perfect ballerina or dancer bun, you're going to want a smooth ponytail. I have wet her hair down a little bit and used some leave-in conditioner and I'm just brushing it out now with my wet brush to get all of the tangles out. Um, then I'll spray a little bit of the Herbal Essences spray gel and then comb it through the hair to distribute it all the way through. If you're interested in any of these products, I will go ahead and link them below. The next thing that I am going to do is use um, a thicker elastic to hold her hair. Her hair is fine, but it's very thick, so this elastic is just gonna work better in her hair. If you've got a toddler with thinner hair, you could probably get away with using one of the smaller rubber bands. I'm going to be using bun donuts for this style. I have a bigger one and a littler one that I bought off of Amazon. If you're interested in purchasing, there's a link in the description. I'm going to use the bigger one because it works better in her hair because it's a little bit thicker and longer. What I'm going to do is put the bun donut over the ponytail so that it's against her head. And then I'm simply going to spread the hair out all the way around the bun donut and take a comb and comb it so that it's even all the way around the donut and um, so that it looks nice and smooth. So I bought a lighter colored bun donut because it kind of matches her hair, but you can get like a dark brown and a black if your child has darker hair. Once I've got this all combed out, I'm going to take a rubber band type elastic and just put it over the top. Then I'll take the excess hair and kind of sweep it around and wrap it around the base of the bun. At this point, I'm just going to add some bobby pins, maybe a little bit of spray gel to keep this area in place so you can add as many as you need to this bun with this donut actually stays really well though we've done it for dance in years past and also for a recital um, I also have this cute flower crown I got from an Etsy shop I will link that below in case you're interested but it adds the perfect finishing touch to this style Style number two is a braided bun. You don't need anything special other than to know how to do a three strand braid. So I am just going to do a three strand braid all the way down to the end of the hair. Once I am to the end of the hair, I'm just going to secure it with an elastic. And then from here, I'm going to pancake out the braid, which means just pull the edges out. It's going to make the bun look so much fuller um, and I think it just is a cuter effect. So I'm going to wrap the braid around the base of the ponytail and then simply pin this in place. To make sure the bun is secure, you can have your child shake their head back and forth and add more bobby pins as needed. Our last style is a bubble pony bun. I am simply going to go down the ponytail um, an inch or two, add an elastic, and then pull the hair out or kind of bubble it out. Now you can add more elastics closer together. You can make them farther apart, depending on how long uh, your little girl's hair is. I am just gonna add four elastics to this style, just bubbling out as I go. So here's the last elastic that I am going to add. I'll just bubble it out and then like the others I'm just going to wrap around the base of the ponytail and pin in place. Now this one I had to use a little bit more bobby pins to make it more secure but I love how the hair kind of bubbles and has the elastics um, in between. Here's a recap of all three of our styles. If you like these ballerina styles please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We upload new videos every Friday. If you have any questions, please ask them below and we will see you next week.